Hey guys, and welcome to the end of March. Here is your March 2021 newsletter. So welcome. This has now been a year of being in the pandemic. And it's kind of crazy to me that it's already been a year. And all of the crazy things that we have seen as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. But today, I wanted to talk about how things are so much different this year as opposed to last year. There are four things I want to talk about today that I was very grateful that I was able to participate in this year that I couldn't do last year. First one, I was very excited to see the kids go back to school, sort of. Our kids, for the first time since March 13th of 2020, our kids were fully back in school in a hybrid model. Every single student that has the option to go back into in-person learning is back in school. They started the hybrid at the beginning of the month and gradually brought everybody in. March 22nd marked the first day that all of our students were fully back in school. Now, we still have a lot of people that are opting out. We have still the hybrid where the kids are in two days a week and then they're remote the rest of the week. So as far as our learning pod is concerned, it doesn't change too much. It just changes the days that they're actually in our facilities. But we're still giving them Jesus. They're still continuing to excel in school. We are super excited for the last seven weeks of the school year and then shifting to our summer program. We're really excited for what God has there. So that's our first thing. Number two, we had our first full month of youth group. We had to delay youth group during the pandemic. It was really hard to get kids to go on Zoom for us. So we kind of just said we'd wait until things kind of settled down. We started that process in February. March was our first full month. We had a few, um, we had a few Thursdays where we did it, but we now we've shifted our youth group from Fridays to Thursdays, where our kids are part of our Bible study beforehand. They get some fun and games and food, and then um, they participate in the Bible study. We love doing that, not just because it connects our youth with our adults as well, but we love putting on skits for the adults. Um, that's been one of the things that we've done several times for Bible study, and it's been absolutely a blast. So we're really looking forward to um, figuring out the rest of the school year and then continuing to uh, support our youth in any way possible. Number three, and this one's kind of interesting. For me, I was very fortunate to be able to actually celebrate a birthday and an anniversary this year. I know I had a birthday and an anniversary last year, but it just felt very different. Um, my birthday, if you don't know, is March 17th. I turned 31 this year. Last year, on my 30th birthday, was the first day that the governor started shutting stuff down. So I wasn't really able to do much on my actual birthday. Praise God, I did a couple things beforehand before things started to get really bad, but I was very fortunate to have an excellent birthday. And our anniversary, um, Shelby and I celebrated three years on the 24th, just last week. And it was really just an awesome experience to be able to actually do stuff. Really for me, it's very interesting because I've been in Cleveland now five years. We've been married for three. This is the first time that we've celebrated an anniversary and I've celebrated my birthday with the Learning Center kids. As you'll see on the picture there, I was very excited about it. I love seeing all the kids dress up in green. It's really cool. Number four, I was able to run my own fundraiser. Um, if you don't know this, this is the first time you've watched this or haven't been following my story. I am um, one class away from graduating with my master's degree in nonprofit administration. As part of that process, I've learned a lot more about the nonprofit world and I'm excited to continue to get more hands-on experience with that, not just with our after-school nonprofit, but the Tavern Coffee House, as we are starting up a nonprofit to support young people and adults that have struggled in jobs to provide them job training and a safe place for our neighborhood. So I got the privilege to run my own fundraiser. So later on this evening at 6.30, log on to the Tavern Coffee House's Facebook page or Instagram page. We're gonna have both up, we're gonna have both running and see what we're doing, see what we're about. We're calling this the Shine the Light for Justice event, 
We're going to be talking a little bit about what the Tavern Coffee House is all about and the vision and the mission of the organization itself, as well as we're going to be walking down the streets of Buckeye, just straight up and down, holding up lights, lights that have been donated by great people like you. If you would like to be a part of this, if you'd like to donate to this nonprofit, um, check out our website, thetaverncoffee.com. And we, we would just really love for you to come in, see what we do, see a little bit more of the neighborhood that we are a part of. So I'm really excited about that. I'm also excited about the things that God has for me in this age 31 season, so to speak. Um, I'm really excited for baseball, as you can tell too here. Anyhow, um, I look at myself, I'm really excited for the things that God has for us and God has for our family in this upcoming year. Make sure you continue to subscribe and follow what we do. Um, we're going to be doing some awesome things here in Cleveland. And we couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you again, CLE team. Thank you for all of your prayers and your support. Thank you for your continued giving through this pandemic. Um, we're really excited to continue to do amazing things through the Lord, not through us, in this inner city. So God bless you guys, and I'll talk to you guys soon.